In America's Midwest, they're used to hard winters, but rarely anything like this. A huge storm front bringing another dumping of snow to the northeast and paralyzing the Midwest. Chicago, the windy city, is bearing the brunt. They're forecasting the city's biggest snowfall in more than 40 years, nearly two feet in one day. And this is the consequence. Gridlock on the road. Uh, for the past six or ten hours, I've traveled 0.9 miles. And in the air, flights into and out of the world's busiest airport, Chicago O'Hare, have been severely affected. In all, over 5,500 flights were cancelled on Wednesday alone across the U.S. Another knock-on effect, hundreds of thousands of homes without electricity. In Texas, they've ordered rolling blackouts. The storm is so severe, it's forced the closure of a key oil pipeline, while natural gas production in Texas has been disrupted. On the East Coast, it's less about snow. The danger here is ice and freezing rain. Commuter rail services into New York have been suspended. Public transportation in Boston also disrupted. President Obama, already juggling the diplomatic complexities of the events in Egypt, was given a special briefing about the storm preparations. The storm's disrupting the regional economy too. Chrysler, GM and Ford have ceased production at several plants in the Midwest and Canada. The storm is now starting to dissipate but it's left the region shivering in its wake. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Washington.